Hey, uh, we have a, a special guest here tonight, uh, a visitor from uh, Dallas, Texas. He is a student from uh, down there. He is home visiting friends, and he's going to spend a few minutes with you here tonight. So would you please welcome Nick Posderick. Nick Posderick. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, um, my brother has a bigger penis than I do. <laughs> Which sucks, but it doesn't rub it in my face, <laughs> which is nice. I, I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. My name is Nick Pazdeg. I'm, uh, I'm a big film fan. I, uh, I just finished uh, work on my first film. It's a uh, porn adaptation of The Invisible Man. We're going to call it uh, Didn't See That Coming. So uh, really ex keep your eyes out for that. Uh, we're working on the sequel right now. It came out of nowhere. So, really, really excited about that one. Kind of a horror take on it, you know. I, um, I'm pretty sure that my grandmother is, um, is Satan. Because every time she wears red, it brings out the color in her eyes. That's not very funny, I'm sorry. That's, I mean, I, actually, I told that, thank you for that applause there. I told that joke to my grandmother one time, and uh, she's not from around here. She has this really strange accent. She said to me, she said the funniest thing. She went, Nick, this is a very funny, this is not a very funny joke, Nick. You should do that joke because there's my feelings. You should respect your elders. Because she's the devil. That's what the devil sounds like. Oh, Grandma Beelzebub. Her house always smells like cookies and... Brimstone and abortion. <laughs> That's what hell smells like, guys. I um, I, I have a girlfriend. I'm just as surprised as you people are. Um, yeah, it's not that funny, ladies. Um, but she, she's really nice. She's really great. She, she's really supportive of, of me. She's kind of like over supportive of me. We went putt putt golfing the other day, and I'm terrible at putt putt golfing. She's like, hey, come on, big guy. Look at you. Six strokes, and you're so close to the hole. Like, get in there, big guy. You can do it. Yeah, get in there. I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm the special ed kid on a on field trip. This is awesome. Thanks, honey. And uh, it's the same way in the bedroom, though, which is really awful. She's like, hey, big guy, come on, keep it up. You got it. Yeah, six strokes for the hole. You get it in there. You can do it. Look at you go. You're doing so good. Got a gold star one time. It was awesome. <laughs> Nobody gets high fives during sex, I don't think, except me. <laughs> it's awful. And, I, and I'm really, I have, you know, I'm not great in the bedroom, you know. I, I don't know. I guess you guys are together. Can I talk to you guys here? I know you're keeping your eyes down, but I don't know, like, <laughs> this is the... This is the audience participation. But I don't know, like, in the bedroom, maybe he's accidentally called out the wrong name once or twice. No, never. That's, I, I hate because I do that every now. Hmm? He's still senior. Yeah, no, true. Good point. My girlfriend, you know, uh, glutton for punishment. But, um, because I, 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 like, I, I sometimes I call it the wrong names, but I, I don't know the girl's names that I'm calling out. Where I'm just like, oh, girl who sits behind me in English class. Oh, yes, give it to me, third grade librarian. Oh, mom! It's... It's awful. It's really... It's hard to wash that taste out of your mouth. Um, I mean... I, um... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a nervous guy, and it's uh, weird. I'm, I'm because I'm a, it's a kind of a bigger guy too, but uh, but I'm the small guy in my family. My my brother is uh, is six seven, and then my dad is six nine, and he used to play for the Dallas Cowboys. And I've seen him eat an entire goat before, and um, just a big big scary dude. And I don't know like how when you were a kid and you like broke something, and your dad would like, hey little guy, I'm like let's fix it, like let's bond. I'll tell you how to, I'll tell you how to fix it, you know. And um, when I was ten years old, I broke the toilet, and um, and my dad was like, what the hell, Nick? Really? You broke the goddamn toilet? Fix the goddamn toilet, moron! Like, I have no idea how to fix a toilet. I just I only shit this. I know nothing other than that. I'm, I don't know what a crescent wrench is, I don't know anything about like my totally blank slate over here of ten. I'm like, what the hell? Did you fucking want no? Get out of the way! Daddy will show you how it's done! Watch and learn, dipshit! That's what I don't know. And um and that's what happened throughout my whole life. And um uh, when I was having sex for the first time, my dad caught me. He was like, what the hell are you doing, jackass? Get your head out of your ass and your finger out of hers. Jesus Christ! I don't, I 
don't know what I'm doing whatsoever. I only talk to these people. I don't know anything about this. Use the clitoris, Nicholas, the goddamn I don't know what a clitoris is at all. I don't know what you, I, nothing. Goddamn it, vagina lady and clitoris, open your eyes! No, really, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in this. I've never seen this. Goddamn it, move out of the way. Dad, I'll show you. Thank you. Thank you for applauding the time my dad raped my girlfriend. <laughs> hey, thanks, Otto Hobb. My name's Nick Posterick. Have a great day. Nick Posterick, you guys. <laughs> Visiting from uh, Dallas, Texas. I believe he came up for the weather. Right? <laughs>